Hello everyone, if you are making games on Unity, you already know how important and vital our game data is. You have to load it, you have to save it, and you have to secure it. You can use player preps, but from my experience, player preps don't give you much control over your data. In my case, I solved this problem using JSON serialization. Today we are making a simple safe system for all devices with JSON. This is our starting scene. You can see we have five buttons here. Level and money increases our level count and money count. But these three buttons, save, delete and load doesn't do anything. So first we need to create an empty object called data manager and reset the values create an script called data manager okay Let's add it to our object then open the script now delete all default methods first we need a class to we want to save our money and level data and load it or load the data from our saved file right so first we need to create a class public class let's call it game info it should have two variables one called money and another one level now we need our class to be serializable so we can see it on our from our inspector public game info game info yeah we can see our game info class here now let's make our data manager class as a singleton okay public static data manager okay. instance instance equal to this and we don't want to destroy our instance when scene changes now let's create a method called public void save data and we are going to call it from our ui manager whenever we press our save button we are go going to call our data manager save data so game dot mm, data manager data manager dot instance dot save data We are going to use JSON data equal to JSON utility dot to JSON is going to take our class game info then we are going to get our data path so for data path let's create a method called get path okay it will return a string so return path dot combine application dot persistent data path then okay let's give our file a name right file name plus file extension we need this uh, we need to declare these two variables so public string file name and file extension so data path equal to get data get path actually now 
so we got our path so dot write all text we want to this one and path no path should be around this one so json data into path data path actually so and we are going to debug our data path another thing uh, whenever we are upgrading our money or level we want to upgrade game uh, data manager instance dot game info dot money equal to money amount then we have to copy here from here and to level count like that now we need these two variables um, let's call our file game data and file extension should be text so we, we can easily see it okay now if we play uh, and upgrade our level yeah level increasing and money yeah so level 10 and money 7 if we save now it's showing us our data path right so let's go to the path first windows e then you yeah, see game data dot txt <coughs> and if we open it money 7 and level 10 so our data saving is done now we have to do is load our data from our file so create another method called public void load data and we are going to call it from on load button click okay so data manager dot instance dot load data after loading the data we want to show the loaded data on our ui so we need to copy here and copy this line of code here and replace the level count from our save data and money first we want to get our path data path so for data path equal to get path or data string um, data then we will file dot read all text from our data we should do another check uh, for so we don't get errors whenever we want to access a file let's say uh, on start of the game our file doesn't exist okay so create another method called check file exist then it should return a boolean and return file dot exist and should take a string data path so on this path now create if our check file exist
if our file exists we are going to read the data right so we are calling first reading the data then we are, go we are going to parse our data and assign to our class this is the class and came in for equal to json utility dot from json we are going to pass as a json by which class so we are going to game info and this should take our data nice so this should work let's see what happens first um save data let's keep a let's say five and five save data is five and five okay so we saved our data properly now we are going to load the data so now we press load yeah see it's value updated from the loaded data we need to do another thing we want to delete our file so this delete options helps you to debug your code or like say you can clear all prefs similar to this one you want to delete uh, your data but you don't want to necessarily go there and delete data from here so this one we are going to like data manager instance dude delete data uh, but we didn't create a delete data method yet so set a load data and public just copy this one and paste it call it delete data uh, first you get in data path and if the file exists we are going to delete the file so file dot delete and pass data path so this should work first we are going to save our data here you can see we have data here now if we press delete data the data file should be gone yep it's gone so this is our simple data system you can see you can save your data load your data you, you can also just by one click delete your data totally if you have any questions or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.